What's going on, everybody? I haven't done a review ever since I did the movie Crawl. Um, I have been wanting to see this movie for a long time, ever since I heard that Quentin Tarantino was making a Charles Manson movie. I have read about the Charles Manson murders before. I know everything about the Manson family that there is to know. I know that Charles Manson died a while back, and some of his Manson family members are still in prison. And once upon a time in Hollywood, we're going to talk about it, we're going to say what it's about, and we're going to... Just get into a lot of stuff. I, I'm going to talk about some good scenes. I'm going to make this review as long as I can. Because there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about. But I'm not giving anything away. Let's go ahead and let's review Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. So this movie might have just be Pulp Fiction. That's my um, favorite Quentin Tarantino movie. But Pulp Fiction was a great movie starring Quentin. Oh, not starring Quentin Tarantino. But directed and rented by Quentin Tarantino. Um, great movie. Love Pulp Fiction. Love everything about it. Love the action. Of acting, awesome, awesome movie. Loved everything about Pulp Fiction. And Once Upon a Time in Hollywood stars Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt. They both play Leonardo DiCaprio as Rick Dalton and um, Brad Pitt as Cliff Booth. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio plays Rick Dalton. Now, Rick Dalton is this fading TV actor that in the 60s that he's, he used to be the, the best actor in Hollywood and he is slowly declining. As his as his stunt double Cliff Booth has to tell him that he's not a, a, a bad like he thinks he is. He's actually he's really good still. But Leonardo DiCaprio's um, Rick Dalton thinks that he's a shit that he's shitty that he's a hasman that he's that he's not even good anymore. And he just he doesn't like the way that he's acting. And there's even one in particular scene where he freaks the fuck out on the trailer. And he starts cussing at himself. He tells himself that he's going to kill himself. And a lot of stuff happens in that trailer that is intense. And probably my favorite Leonardo DiCaprio performance. That was probably my favorite Leonardo DiCaprio scene of any scene he's done. But Leonardo DiCaprio is an excellent actor. Also, who was really good in the movie. Who, was, who really brought a very um, funny vibe to the movie is Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. I've always loved Brad Pitt in movies. I think Brad Pitt's an excellent actor, as is, um, he was in a movie with another person that I can't think of, Benicio Del Toro, um, he was, um, Benicio Del Toro and Brad Pitt, they were great in Snatch, Brad Pitt's always been great, like I said earlier, but this movie in particular, he was funny, because there's one scene with Bruce Lee, who Mike Moore, portray, who Mike Moore portrays, and that scene is just, it's, it's awesome, it's, it's great, I freaking love the scene. Um, the, this movie, like I said, features the Manson family, and Charles Manson, um, is played by Damon Harriman. Now, I really, really wish that Damon Harriman got a way bigger role than he got. He only shows up Charles Manson once. I'm not gonna tell you what the scene is, but he only shows up once and he just disappears for the rest of the movie. So I have a feeling that this movie was longer than it was supposed to be, so I got a film movie half the blue when the blu-ray comes out we'll get a hall a hell of a lot of more extended scenes austin butler as tex watson was amazing damon herman as charles manson was great i like he, he only he maybe only had maybe like a few lines but the but when he delivered the lines he was believable as charles manson and he looks like charles manson he looks exactly like manson looked in this in the 60s i thought it was a great job i'm actually looking at him right now on my computer he looks i if you put Charles Manson and Damon Harriman, like them both young, they look like twins. I, I'm glad that Quentin Tarantino got this guy to play Charles Manson because he was freaking great as Charles Manson. Austin Butler is in this. He's um, he's the boyfriend of Vanessa Hudgens. Now, I've seen this guy in a Disney ch Channel movie before, um, which is a very good place as well. I saw him in. But him as Tex Watson was really believable. I really liked him as Charles Tex Watson. The ending of this movie is my favorite out of the whole entire movie. The ending is fucking just, it's a blast. It's fucking great. You're gonna, if you love Quentin Tarantino, you're gonna love the ending of the movie. The movie is great. Yes, the movie does have a slow burn like a lot of people said, but it's fine. I, I liked it. I liked, the, I liked the slow burn. I liked where it was going. Um, the first and The first act was great. The second act... Was um, it was it was enjoyable. It wasn't bad. And the third act just fucking picks up, and that that's oh my god, the ending is 
funny and freaking amazing. I fucking love the ending. Leonardo DiCaprio, a boy, the ending that he's involved with, the Manson family members, is it's funny. It's freaking hilarious. You're gonna love it. Um, but yeah, definitely. May more than likely my favorite Quentin Tarantino movie. This movie beats Pulp Fiction by far. Okay, guys, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is gonna get an A plus. Everyone did good. Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio did excellent. Damon Herman did excellent as Charles Manson. Austin Butler did awesome as Charles Tex Watson. Great movie. Definitely one I will be seeing on Blu-ray. Like I said, this movie is getting an A plus. Um, have you seen? Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, yet. Or as a matter of fact, what's your favorite Quentin Tarantino movie? Whatever your favorite Quentin Tarantino movie is, comment below and let me know what it is. And as always, if you liked my videos, you know what to do. Just click on my name to see more. This is Jordan saying so long until I do another movie review. Have a great day. Thanks for watching my videos. Have a blessed day. Thank you for watching. Bye.